What going on in Congo? <laughs> This morning we had such like a banter, such a relaxing morning, just hanging out, just talking, and like it just feels different already. It feels like we're definitely letting each other in a lot more. There's definitely lots of sides to you, which I love. talk about the past while completely ignoring the pillow in the bed of plastic succulents. So, why were you in the Congo before coming here? Well, I was born in Congo, and then when the war broke out, we had to, like, escape. And then we moved to Kenya and lived there as refugees for four years. No way. I don't remember much of Congo at all. It's like, my sister's like, you're like, oh, you remember? I'm like, no, I don't remember that. How old is your oldest sibling? She's 38. That's so crazy to me that your siblings are this age. How old is your youngest sister? 12? Nine. Wow, that's like my nieces and nephews. Where were you born? Oklahoma. So boring. <laughs> Just there's, more, there's more going on than Congo. <laughs> This morning we had such like a banter, such a relaxing morning, just hanging out, just talking, and like it just feels different already. It feels like we're definitely letting each other in a lot more. There's definitely lots of sides to you, which I love. I want to get to know all the sides to Justine. I want to couple with this girl because she has made my experience something far greater than anything I ever imagined possible. I stood up here the first time her and I coupled up with this gut feeling that she would challenge me to become a better man. And I thank her for helping me become a better man. Sometimes she gives me a hard time about being difficult to read. But open book or not, I can't wait to turn the page and get to the next chapter and what I hope to be a very, very long story. Not only does she make me feel like the luckiest man in the villa, but lately I've been feeling like the luckiest man in the world. The girl I want to couple up with is Queen Jessie. Aww, Jessie. You can go and join Caleb.